Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video, as you guys can see, is going to be a Walmart grocery haul. It's actually been a hot minute since I have gotten groceries. We've just been kind of getting them here and there since after the holidays. And I don't know if you guys felt it too, but I definitely felt like after the holidays, there's like that lull period of time where you're like not motivated to do anything. It's so hard to get back into a routine. Actually, the kids just went back to school last week. So getting back into a routine has been somewhat difficult. Um, but I went ahead and placed my order. I'm actually filming this at night. I placed it on Sunday. Usually I do all my grocery shopping on Monday, but I realized that it would probably be easier to get them on the weekend. That way I can dedicate more time and focus on other things on my Monday instead of having it consume my whole day or like half of my day. So that's something different I'm gonna be doing this year is just doing all the grocery shopping on the weekend, dedicating more time on the weekdays for other things. Um, but you guys can see I have a lot of fruits and vegetables and healthy ish -er, is that a word? Healthier food, that's what I was trying to say, healthier food than I usually get. I am really trying to eat healthier, be more conscious of what I'm putting on my body. I tend to eat more on the healthy side, but the last few weeks since the holidays, it has been rough getting back into eating healthy again. That's another thing that I struggle with around this time of year. So I told myself, nope, we're starting tomorrow. I've actually started juicing too. So a lot of this stuff is for juicing, but I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and kind of like what our dinner meals are for this week. Um, there was some things that were unavailable on the Walmart shopping app. So I will have to, or Frank will have to go to Publix to get some of those things. Starting over here with our fruits. We have some bananas, a big box or carton of blueberries, as well as a two pound carton of strawberries. And then I did get a big bag. I think this is a three pound bag of honey crisp apples. I got that actually for my juicing. I've actually been only using green apples and I wanted to incorporate this for a little bit more sweetness for the kids when I make them some juices because I can handle the bitterness. It does not bother me at all when I make the juices, like when it comes to like lemon and celery, I can handle like that kind of stuff. But the kids, if it doesn't have like a little bit of sweetness, they don't want to try it. So I'm trying to incorporate some things that they can have and they will like as well as getting all those vitamins and nutrients from fruits and vegetables. So got that, got four Granny Smith apples, some pineapple. I've also been adding this to my juices as well. I just realized that I could have just probably bought a whole thing of it. I just hate dealing with like pineapple and watermelon. Like those are the two fruits that I hate having to peel or cut. So I always buy it in the carton, but I think I'm just gonna suck it up next time and buy the whole pineapple. Um, Cause I've been also adding this to juices as well. And I'm going to attempt to make fresh orange juice. I did get some orange juice, but we are gonna have breakfast for dinner one day this week. So I figured I'll just make a whole bunch of orange juice for our breakfast for dinner. And on top of that, I bought a whole bunch of glass bottles too. So any leftover juice, I'll be able to store in the fridge for about a couple days because that's how long it will typically last. So if we have any extra, I can save some too. And then I got some dill. I'm actually going to try this recipe that my friend Christine was telling me about. It's an egg salad with no mayonnaise. You actually replace the mayonnaise with cottage cheese and it looks so good. I'll actually throw out the TikTok on here so you guys can see it. Um, maybe I'm gonna do like a what I eat in a day or what we eat in a week, some kind a video and I can show you guys how I make that or how to make it and then what I thought about it. That was another thing that they didn't have that was unavailable was Dave's Killer Bread. That's the bread that I really love for like my avocado toast and like recipes like this. So we're gonna have to check to see if Publix has it tomorrow. Actually, I'll throw up a screenshot right here of all the things that they had unavailable that we still need to get. Also got a bag of baby spinach. I like to put these with uh, smoothies or I guess we could even now put them in the juicer or I'll like to make some egg whites and I'll throw some spinach in there. And then I also got some kale too to go into my green drinks, like my green juices. I got a whole bag, three pound bag, I believe, of carrots. I've been really liking putting carrots in my, I'm still like in the experimenting phases. And so far the juices I've tried or made have been really, really good, but I wanna try like different recipes out of my element. Like for example, I did get some beets to start putting some beets in my juices. So anyways, I got a huge bag of carrots because I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of experimenting. Got some avocados, 
for avocado toast. And actually Harlow really enjoys eating this on its own. Um, they just need to ripen up because they're still green. I've got some cherry tomatoes, gonna do pesto chicken for dinner. So I always roast the tomatoes for that. Um, I thought I got two onions, but I think they only gave me one because one is for, we're gonna do the one skillet sausage pasta meal. I can't remember the name of it. If you're an OG viewer, then you know exactly which meal I'm talking about. Um, but I needed it for that. And then also there was a different recipe. I think it was like, I was going to make some teriyaki turkey bowls for lunch too. So I'm going to have to get another onion. Um, I did get some bell peppers. I love this with hummus. Actually, I was thinking about whatever leftover I have from that turkey, the teriyaki turkey. I could make like some stuffed peppers with that, or I could just have it with hummus, tuna. I literally eat these with everything sometimes even by themselves and then I did get a couple bags of broccoli so actually one of these broccolis will be for beef and broccoli and that's another dinner meal so we're gonna do beef and broccoli breakfast for dinner pesto chicken and then that one pan sausage pasta meal cheesy pasta that's usually what we call it is cheesy pasta so that is gonna be our meals for this week and then um, a couple lunch ideas is that egg salad and then the teriyaki turkey bowl and then a couple more veggies over here got some green onions I need that for the egg salad and then also the cheesy pasta meal just for garnish um, asparagus for a side I got two English cucumbers to use for juicing and like I said some beets so that will be interesting. My friend Christine actually recommended using beets because there's a lot of vitamins in them. And I actually like the taste of beets. Like I said, we're gonna experiment a little bit. If you guys would like to see that on this channel as well, definitely let me know and I can show you guys of what I've been using and like combinations of stuff for my juices. And then I got some roasted garlic hummus. Actually only me, Arya and Harlow enjoy the hummus. And I got a big box of Simply Go-Gurt pouches, strawberry and mixed berry. Scarlett and Fletcher had about three of these each today. They love them. I like it because it has no added color, no high fructose corn syrup. They're decently healthy-ish, um, but also they really are great for just throwing in their lunch boxes for lunch. Uh, got a couple cheeses. We got shredded mozzarella for the pesto, Colby Jack for cheesy pasta. I originally picked out a tub of this Danon Light and Fit Greek vanilla yogurt, but they were out of it, so they substitute it with two of their four cups. So I have eight cups total of the vanilla yogurt, but I really like them because I can change them with different fruits and different granola. They have 12 grams of protein, 80 calories. It's just like my go-to favorite yogurt and even the kids like it. I'll even like open up one. Well, originally I was gonna get a tub so I could just like add it to for like their lunches or sides. So usually what I do is when I have these is I just open them up and then same process. Aria requested some spicy ramen. So I got her four of this chicken one. It's hot and spicy. The chili, there's a chili sauce, no added MSG. That is the brand Nissen. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but she loves her ramen. She loves her spicy foods. So I got her four of those and sometimes she'll make them in the morning and have them for lunch or like even after school. Got a couple cream cheeses, some Philadelphia original for Harlow's bagels. And then we love to have this garden vegetable with crackers. So that's like kind of an unhealthy snack. Actually, I saw a snack on Pinterest. Like if you add cream cheese with celery and put some everything but the bagel seasoning over there, it's like a low carb snack. So I might even try that because that sounded really good. And I bet it would be really good with the garden vegetable. Cottage cheese, mainly got this for my egg salad, but I even think this would be fine to have with like some lunch foods. And then also the smoked sausage for that cheesy pasta meal, flank steak for the beef and broccoli, ground turkey for the teriyaki turkey bowls, and then um, chicken breast for the pesto chicken. So I think that's all the meat, well, and also some honey roasted turkey breast for the kids' lunches, but I think that's all the meat. And then I'm trying to show you guys what's back here too. Got some silk dairy-free almond creamer, chicken broth for one of the dinner meals, a gallon of milk for Fletcher. I originally got one big carton of orange juice, but they must have been out of them because they substitute it with two of these. So I'm probably just gonna end up putting one of them in the fridge in the garage. I got some egg whites for breakfast and then also regular eggs for our breakfast for dinner. 
Another thing for breakfast for dinner is some biscuits. We actually have, cause like I said, we've been getting things here and there from the grocery store. So we actually already have sausage and bacon. I think one carton of biscuits right there. And then Frank and I actually both got green grapes at the same time. Um, so we have plenty of green grapes. Beef broth, that is for the beef and broccoli. Got two boxes of mac and cheese. One of them is hiding back here, but I got four Ben's original ready rice to jasmine and then two long grain in wild with herbs and seasoning. I got Harlow some mini bagels this time, original. And then this is for the cheesy pasta, some bow tie noodles, more mac and cheese. Again, this is sometimes what we'll have for lunch is we'll just heat one of these up in the morning and the kids can take like a hot lunch in like their thermos. So sometimes we'll do that. Two boxes of apple juice and then a huge bag of veggie straws, sea salt, and then this somehow opened when we were unloading everything, but I got a variety pack of applesauce pouches. Comes with 20 clear pouches. We've got mixed berry, apple, and strawberry. I needed to get some more Dawn dish soap, so that's back there. Two cereals, we got strawberry, banana, Cheerios. I don't think we've ever tried this flavor. Actually, I'm pretty sure we haven't. And I hope the kids will like it because I got a family size, but I predicted that they might like it. So I got that. And then also a family size of Fruit Loops, big family size of Pringles. So there's cheddar cheese, sour cream, onion, and the original. And then one box, these are Nolan's favorite, but one box of the original, and then one box of white cheddar cheeses. As you guys can see, these are mainly snacks for the kids and then some Mott's fruit snacks 40 pouches family pack z bars the chocolate chip this is scarlett's personal favorite she loves these z bars so much and they're actually pretty decently good for you 11 grams of whole grains good source of fiber non-gmo chocolate chip is the one that i get for her and then i got some fruit and grain cereal bars a big pack of these they're strawberry apple cinnamon and mixed berry the kids like to have these for like on the go for breakfast or even for a snack and then a big thing of goldfish this is fletcher's personal favorite he loves him some goldfish so i think i got everything i also forgot to show you guys this i had immediately put it in the freezer when we got home but i also got this ice cream called rebel the mint chocolate ice cream i was curious to see how it would taste it says it's keto full fat and lactose free and it has zero grams of sugar so i'll let you guys know if i like it or not Whew, you guys i'm out of breath from talking but yeah here is my healthy but also realistic grocery haul and actually i think this is the first grocery haul that i've showed in a while that i didn't get little bites <laughs> i think it's the first one in a long time you're not going to see the muffin bites in this grocery haul but i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and if you guys would like me to show more of what i'm eating and what i am going to be consuming to eat healthier all of that good stuff even like what my kids are eating what we're eating as a family and i will see you guys in our next video. Bye.